both are done. Let's do a karting performance test. I'm really happy with the performance. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another project video. In my last comparison video I made a cutting performance test with my Suzuki Gunboy, self-made hacksaw and this improvised bozo. To be honest I was a bit surprised that the hacksaw was the winner. The advantage from improvising a bozo frame is that it's much easier and you are much quicker. Another advantage is that you have more space between the saw blade and the frame. Here you have this crossbar. That means you can saw a bigger diameter with this kind of, of uh, saw. The material you need for improvise a bow saw is a straight branch, a saw blade, a piece of cord, two pins who hold the saw blades on place and a knife. In my case with Sami knife, what else? I took a hazel branch. This branch is about twice as long as the saw blade. Like this. And the thick part has about some size. And I know this branch is much too long. But you will have some advantages during crafting the bow. And uh, I come back later to this topic. The first step is to craft two pins who hold the saw blade on place. I like the wooden solution and I prefer to carve these pins out of a thicker branch than take direct a small branch because I think this wood is more sturdy than this one. If you don't like the wooden pins you can also take two key rings or you can take the key ring of the Swiss Army knife and the nail you store in the corkscrew. But until now I never had problems with the wooden pins. Good possible that you have to change it after half a year. But I like the wooden version. The next step is to pre-bend the thick part of your branch. If you don't pre-bend the branch and you bend it, you get the result like this. The stick bent on the, on, on the thin part and not here. And this is the opposite I want. I want something like this. I want a bow shape like this, where the thick part is bended and the small and the thin part is straight. And that's why I have to pre-bend the thick part to make it softer. The reason why I want it like this is that I want to hold the thick part in my hand and the seam part is in the front. And if the seam part is straight, like here, you can give more tension. If the seam part is bended, you have only a little bit tension. And like this, you can give much more tension. Now we have to pre-bend this part. Most of people take the knee and bend it around the knee. The problem is, like this, you have just one, one certain spot where you bend the, the stick. I like to pre-bend this part of the stick around the trunk because like this, you spread the forces around the trunk and you have no peak of bending forces in one point. So, now the thick part is softer and when I bend it, I have exactly what I want. The small part is straight and the thick part is bended. Perfect! Now I attach the string about 20 cm from the end of the thick part, here. So. 
Now, I bend the stick over the saw blade that I have a visual control how much I have to bend it. Now I hold the tension and wrap the cord about the second end. So next step is to control if the bend is enough. And that's perfect. So now I can choose the section I want. I can place it like this or I can place it like this or I can place it like this and this for this you need the longer branch and I go I go with this shape now I mark the ends this is here And this is here. Now I shorten the ends. So the bow is shortened. Uh, this fits perfect. Yes. Next step is to split the slot where the saw blade comes in. Most of the people make the slot when the, the, the stick is straight like this. But if you bend it, it can happen that, uh, that uh, the stick uh, twists a bit. And then you have the problem that these two slots are not aligned, are not in one line. And like this, you can be sure that both slots are exactly in one line. Now I have to insert the saw blade in slots. The fact that this cord holds the tension made that this process is much more safety and much more convenient. Otherwise you have to hold the tension with your hand, I don't know, and you're fiddling around with a sharp uh, saw blade and blah. So I like it much more like this. So, now I open the knot so. and as you can see the saw blade is perfect straight. 
The last step is to make a lashing here and here that the slot can't open more. The bow are done. Let's do a carting performance test. Okay. And I would say I'm really happy with the performance. So my friends, that's it for today. I hope this was an interesting video for you. Thanks a lot for watching. Next Friday I'll show you how to improvise a hexo. Ciao!